Hey guys, I uh, went to the post office yesterday, didn't get around to doing this video, so I'm getting around to do it now. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that the uh, package from Afunta Electronics came in, and this is the um, Zelops Z12 uh, uh, get, uh, custom gaming mouse, learn to speak Dan, bleh. and uh, look forward to seeing uh, more on this mouse uh, here in the next uh, transition, so until then guys, I'll see you in the transition. Transition! Hi guys, and here we are. We are recording, and as you can see, the drivers are being installed. Uh, right there, they're done. And um, on the actual uh, uh, box, I believe, that the... Where did I put the CD? Uh, shoot. Anyway, I, I transferred the CD... That, that's right, it's in my optical drum, sorry. I transferred the CD drivers to a uh, thumb drive and installed it that way. But as you can see, uh, let me just turn uh, my backing light off so you can actually see the uh, LEDs in action. I'm going to go over to the actual software, which is this little icon that you see here. And program is there's program. Hello, there's the program. Ah, there it is. Um, as you can see, the program is quite colorful. And uh, this is where you can actually program uh, uh, the buttons. And uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna go through the uh, color options. As you can see, you can set your, pot, uh, uh, your set report, uh, uh, report, report rate for the, the scroll wheel. I've got to give props to the designer of this mouse. The scroll wheel feels really, really strong um, from both click and scroll. Um, one of the things that's a problem with the uh, razors is them, the scroll wheel just doesn't feel enough. Basically, I press up once and I'm already swapping out my weapons a lot in Call of Duty and Battlefield because I always have that set to my, my uh, weapons. And I'm constantly missing on the weapon that I want because it scrolls too fast, no matter how far you set it. But back to the colors. And as you can see, you can force set your DPIs to uh, whatever settings you want. And this is how you select your profiles. You'll see the, the colored LEDs. Now I'm on profile two. Now I'm on profile three. And now I'm on profile four. So, and you can actually set the poll rates uh, um, on the actual mouse, as you can see. So we're going to apply that real quick and then go back to one. As you can see, set to 500, set to 1250, 2500, 4000. So if you're a really high-end twitchy gamer that, that needs your, your QWERT skills, again, hence the um, side buttons. There are a grand total of six side buttons. It also comes with a very unique triple click feature, which is this red button right here. Now, I do actually have uh, some programs uh, that I use for mouse testing purposes and oh dear apparently my programs got deleted oh well uh, I uh, there is an auto click feature on the mouse that you can clearly see uh, however the this mouse is currently set for left-handed mode so the order the triple click uh, which I believe is a triple uh, five CMOS timer chip that's physically attached to the uh, uh, sensor uh, won't work if you're in left-handed mode so bear in mind that the triple click only works if the mouse is in right-handed mode of course i'm left-handed my mouse is in left-handed mode so so is this one now another thing i want to point out is the color match system the mouse actually has the ability as you can now clearly see to change color of the mouse it ranges from a whole spectra of colors here it is in red now i'm actually going to set the brightness to maximum there you go. This is the brightness set to maximum. And that would be my dog barking. And so we've got orange. We've got yellow. We've got green. Teal, which is one of my favorite colors. Uh, dark blue, my wife's favorite color, purple. And last but not least, white. 
Now you can adjust the brightness if you're playing in a in a uh, in a dark room and you really don't want to uh, disturb someone. Um, you can turn the brightness down. However, I always prefer maximum brightness. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's one of the things I actually enjoy. But as you can see, even the scroll mouse, the scroll wheel, it is uh, uh, lit up very nicely. And it, it's just one of those things that I actually quite enjoy. There's also a, a you can also set your own profiles where each key will do different things. For example, the, the 12 key, which is the triple click, you can actually turn that key off. So if you're playing games like Heroes and Generals that frown against people using macros, you can actually disable that button and not worry about getting banned. Uh, um, I had to literally find hacked drivers to turn those features off in my left-handed Razer because my Razer has a auto-click feature that actually got my primary account banned in Heroes and Generals. So. I'm glad that you can actually turn that feature off here. So it, it, it is one of those features that I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for. So we're actually going to use the mouse right now, as you can see, to uh, change some options around. Oh, and apparently, you triple click. It's still, actually, it's still set for right-handed mode. Wow, it must be hard encoded for right-handed mode. So uh, that's interesting. You can even set your triple click to turn your RGBs on or off. We set that's what we've set it for. So there we go. As you can see, so if you really just want to kill it, you can. It's actually an individual switch. I honestly thought it was a triple five timer, uh, 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 just traced in on the circuit board, but it's actually it's not. It's its own individual um, button which is always nice. Now, unfortunately, we can't exactly do a, uh, a rapid click test. No, I do not want to get Windows 10. Now, of course, I am using the uh, mouse on a uh, Razer uh, Goliath uh, uh, control mat, and the mouse is clearly designed for a speed uh, style uh, mouse pad. Uh, because of the the, uh, the uh, default uh, pads that were added. It does use a laser optical, a uh, triple line sensor. Um, I will try and get some more information on the actual laser that's used in the mouse and post it in the video comments uh, in the uh, description down below. Again, uh, we can go to the settings up here. Actually, I'm going to use my regular mouse. Uh, we can actually adjust the mouse speed here. So scroll speed we can adjust. Double click speed we can adjust. Uh, we could even set we can even create our own macros so if you're looking for a specific set of clicks you can do that of course there's your basic settings again this software itself may be very um what's the word i'm looking for oh my, wow that is a huge difference in in mouse speed wow holy cow please 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 zealot make a left-handed edition of this mouse oh my god Wow, that is a huge increase in uh, mouse control. Uh, it really is. Holy smokes. That uh, is absolutely amazing because the, the software is even controlling my Razer mouse, which is pretty interesting. Now, honestly, first impressions of the software is it is basic. But you know what? I, I, I really don't care. As long as it works, you know, I'm not looking for bells and whistles, so I'm looking at you, Razor, about that. But frankly, ultimately, what do I think of, of the mouse itself? Um, if it was a left-handed edition, I'd be able to play with it more and give you some more honest about it. But until then, guys, I'm going to cut away to a transition for the Baroness. The Baroness is going to be playing with the keyboard. And, oh, the keyboard, sorry, the mouse. And uh, she will give you some feedback as she's playing. Until then, guys, I will see you after the Baroness's transition. transition hi guys we're here doing a mouse video uh it is the c12 custom it was sent to us by alfanta it is made by zealots um it has these what six buttons on the side plus the regular buttons up on the top uh, we're playing Astaria today. I don't play League of Legends. My husband is left-handed, 
And so I'm the one that gets to do this for him. Um, it is really kind of neat. There's a bunch of little things instead of having to go over and search my skills out. I have them set to where they'll go right on these buttons. And so as you can see, this is a little tiny hatchling that we're doing this with. And it's making the attacks a lot easier. Now, mind you, this poor little thing has been nothing but a crafter until today. And so this is a new thing for this little hatchling. Um, Istaria is a game where you can play as a dragon or several different races. There's 20 plus ra uh, classes. It, links will be in the video description. Um, I have this set to where you can see my little hatchling while it's attacking. Normally this is the way you'd see it. Um, mouse controls there. Now this mouse is a lot different. Way did it do that? Okay, there we go. Um, this mouse is a lot different than the one that I'm used to using. As you can see the difference, it's a still series, just a regular little hodank. Um, it's a little heavy for me, but you turn it upside down, turn it, and you can take weights out. Now, they're a little hard for me to do with my nails. So, we'll go ahead and take two out, see what that does. Going from a mouse that has like no weight to one that has all that weight is a little bit different. You just twist it back in. Now that's that's better for me. Um, let me unlock my camera here. And as you can see, we just attack. The buttons are really smooth. It's doing really well. Um, I just have a regular little, uh, what is this, a Razer mouse pad that it seems to be doing okay on. It's not the the greatest. It maybe needs a different um, mouse pad, but it seems to be doing pretty well on it, as you can tell. Um, it reacts a lot better than the Steel Series, which... And my husband will tell anybody that for me to say something is better than Steel Series is completely off. Yeah. Um, the weights are just little tiny. I don't know if you can see that or, but it, they're just little tiny cylinders. I don't know what they're called. Um, they're an ounce weight. Okay. See, my husband, who's behind the camera, knows more about this because he's done all the research and did the first part of the video. I'm just doing the the play test. Um, it's really handy having those buttons right there because normally, you know, Q is to jump or to fly on a adult dragon, you know, AWSD, of course. And then, you know, you have your one, two, and three. And then the mouse buttons add up to number nine. And so it makes it really, really handy. Because then I'm not stretching. I'm not trying to push my, you know, my fingers across the keyboards or hunt for for numbers over here when I'm out doing an epic hunt or something. But I enjoy the mouse. It's a good mouse. It's really well well built. I mean, now my husband says you can change the colors and all of that. I don't have the disc to to do it, but hey, it works. It's great. It has the extra things. You can change the weight. And so there you go. You enjoy the mouse. Enjoy the game. Come visit us. <laughs> Transition. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. 
of the uh, C12 Zealot gaming mouse. <sighs> what can I say, guys? Unfortunately, with me being a left-handed gamer, I really couldn't use the mouse, so I gave it to a right-handed gamer that I know that can and that I trust. And in fact, I actually don't have the mouse with me anymore. She's still using it. She likes it that much. But I do have the box, so I guess that's something. Again, I want a big, big thank you to Afunta for sponsoring my channel, for giving me the, the mouse to review. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And a big thank you to Zealots for making this mouse. If there's really only one tiny overview I wish I could give, make this in a left-handed mouse. Trust me, if you made it in a left-handed mouse, it would sell, okay? It really would. And I'm sorry, but I honestly think that Razer has got to run for their money because I know that my wife's still series. That's still sitting unplugged. <laughs> She's enjoying that mouse. She really is. And I know I look a, a lot different. It's been a while since I've had... I've actually had this mouse for about a week, two weeks now. So I had a haircut. Stuff like that. But it's still in. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And don't forget, all the information, where to buy, everything else, even the game that my wife was playing, Astaria, links are in the video description. Please go check it out. And uh, again, guys, hope you enjoy. Keep chefs fine. Keep getting them done. The Cable Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends.